Right, so as you may have guessed for the title of the video, um, this is just me going to show you the which hopefully will be the version one of my 2016 soft modern tool. Uh, this essentially needs some testers. Um, now I've tested it on uh, four different Xboxes, all works fine. Um, I've broke it, fixed it, um, everything's working, but there's always going to be one out Xbox out there that for some strange reason doesn't work properly or something needs done. Um, and I would rather get it fixed before releasing it and it doesn't actually work. Um, well, it does work, but I'd rather be, you know, stay on the side of caution, if that's the same. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you, in the description there's a download to um, a Google Drive. Um, it'll take you to a folder with quick upgrade.zip and quick update.zip. Now you can test both. If you're not running my soft mod, then you use a quick upgrade. If you are running my soft mod, you can use a quick update. Um, or you can, if you use a quick upgrade, you'll lose your dashboard on the C partition. If it's on the E partition, you don't need to worry because the E partition doesn't get touched. Um, or sorry, I should say the shadow C partition. Um, the quick update doesn't touch that. It just replaces the soft mod files and the soft mod save. Basically, NK patcher in the back end of the soft mod. So. The reason I'm wanting testers is because I've changed basically the way the whole soft mod's installed, or most of it. Um, Unleash X is still used to copy files to the console um, and to the C partition, so the soft mod is always installed first. Um, so you'll always be able to boot uh, Burnt Media. Even if it crashes or something happens, you can still boot Burnt Media because the soft mod is tiny and it gets installed to the C partition straight away. Uh, what I need testing is the NK patcher settings because I no longer use NK patcher to do the disabling of the Shadow C partition. What I do now is during the installation or when the installation of Unleash X, when Unleash X is finished installing files, the Xbox will go black, the screen will go black, the LED on the front of the console will flash green and when it's flashing green, it's installing the Shadow C partition to the hard drive. It's patching Unleash X and copying it to different locations on the hard drive. Uh, what this does is this disables the Shadow C partition. Uh, it doesn't disable it. What it does is allows Unleash X to access the hidden partition. So I use that for NK patcher settings, which means now you can soft reset out of NK patcher settings. Because as far as the Xbox is concerned, the Shadow C isn't disabled. So I'm just going to show you the quick upgrade and then some of the new stuff in NK patcher settings. So if you've been running my RC3, you'll notice that I've now got a wee tune that plays. Um, the reason I done that was because sitting in a silent menu just sounded boring, so I thought I'd have a wee tune playing. It just loops. Um, there's also some changes uh, regarding uh, the kind of safety features of the soft mod as well since RC3. Uh, the current stable versions on my Google Drive, um, that's pre version 1 pre-release. Um, this isn't this version, this is a different version, this is completely different. Um, so, with pre-release of the versions after RC3, um, I back up the whole soft mod to the C partition so that if you wipe your whole entire E partition, you can just re-soft mod it straight from the Xbox. You don't need to put a disc in or fat ass about the stuff. You can fix it from right for the Xbox. So. As it says, uh, as it says here, the Xbox is going to restart twice. The reason it does this is because uh, to do the quick upgrade, uh, I use a beat boot from Media BIOS. That's so that every soft mode out there can be upgraded. If I used 
NK patcher or if I used my modified version of Unleash X then it wouldn't work for any other soft mod because NK patcher doesn't like to load over itself and Unleash X has to be modified to look for a specific partition um, which all other soft mods differ from what mine does so it restarts twice after the first reboot it will populate, it will create the shadow C image it will then populate that image and then it will restart the console so that it loads into uh, Unleash X so also backs up your EEPROM during the process I'm basically just wanting to get this done spent quite a while on it um, and it's got to the point where there's not really much else I can do to improve it um, you can't break it unless you know exactly how to break a soft mod or a protected soft mod and if you do then that's your problem it's not mine so that's the soft mod now installed uh, another thing I'll just point out is this here uh, with this version of the soft mod or when it's finally released hopefully this month um, it will come with an attach and detach xb file which this does is allows you to run the 2016 soft modding tool extras disk from your xbox hard drive you just put the iso next in the, the in the 2016 soft mod and tool extra disk folder fire it on your xbox and you can use it to install whatever the hell you want so you don't need to burn the disk anymore um, also due to the way i disable that because i modify unleash x now i can the disable shadow c function will now work with the virtual iso so that's a benefit if you need that, that is. So, you may have noticed if you've been using the RC3 or the pre release version 1, um, the modules and settings under there used to be exit NK patcher settings. That's no longer needed. Uh, like I said, due to the way I do the installation and how the Shadow C is disabled uncertain parts of the soft mod you can soft reset it over now um, there's one new feature or there's one difference I changed from RC3 and that was when you installed the RC3 soft mod what would happen is the, the at the time it was called EEPROM backer upper would check your kernel version of your xbox and it would install the appropriate kernel font which gives you a hundred percent boot compatibility it'll, it'll boot every single time they'll never have an issue um, the only downside was if you cloned this hard your hard drive and try to put it on another xbox that wasn't a version 1.6 or it wasn't the same version as or the same kernel version as your xbox it would freeze at the Xbox logo. So what I done was I reverted back to just installing the generic font. So when the installation is done it will always install the generic font. If you would like to install the, the appropriate kernel font it's all automated. You don't need to know what kernel version you're running. Uh, you just go into advanced settings kernel font options and you can pick install kernel font now you'll get to see this this is just telling you what the pros and cons are as I said you cannot use the hard drive in another kernel version the generic can be used in any kernel version on rare occasions can crash on or after the ex-logo screen that's a rare crash um, 
all you would do is open the drawer and it would load back in. It happens once in a blue moon, so basically never. But you've got the choice. And that's just telling you if you ever do use this this option if you're going to clone this hard drive to a different xbox or you want to use this hard drive in a different xbox then restore the generic font first but i'll quickly show you what happens when you select this that's the kernel font installed now as you can see the icon is no longer on generic it's now on the kernel 5838 and this is a version 1.6 xbox so to restore the generic font you just pick that and that's it done that's the generic font restored and you don't need to worry um, video modes now that um, I no longer use NK Patcher to do it you can now just run these and the change will take effect on next boot no longer needs to reboot straight away um, virtually prom same thing these all work the same and now to exit you just press LR back in black and you're back to your normal dashboard and um, what I'll quickly show as well uh, where am I here so this is just going to simulate you deleting Uh, your, your e partition say I'm not going to because I've got stuff on here that I need um, but essentially I deleted my C partition I deleted I formatted my e partition so none of these are here what will happen is if you soft reset or you turn the Xbox on again the LED will turn red and then it will start to flash and you'll be brought to this page now obviously if I select this it's going to fail because I formatted my e-partition didn't really, I just deleted the stuff I need but like I said during the installation of the soft mod I back up the whole soft mod and it gets placed in the, un it gets placed in the real C partition out of the way so that if ever, anything ever goes wrong you can fix it so safety features have been slightly improved in this version and that's really kind of it um, the main changes are just the back end so you know if you want to test it the links in the download <laughs> the links in the description um, just test it just delete the sort of save stuff like that. as you can see it works um, so I don't really need people to test it but it would be nice if a couple of people would just kind of run it through its paces so to speak um, so yeah that's the soft mod fixed now it's just booting back up and I'll be back in my dashboard I'll end the video when I get to back to my dashboard so actually I'll show you recovery dashboard 
both of them are back and the save is back as well so yeah if you can test it it'd be a great help um, I'd really like to get this out before Christmas the sooner the better because I spend too much time doing this and I keep changing it so you're saving me from myself if I can get this out <laughs> um, so yeah um, thanks for watching and if you do test it out just let me know how it goes on how you get on in the description and if you can think of any improvements or any changes um, just let me know in the, dis in the comments as well so thank you for watching and thanks for testing if you do <laughs>